Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll take a look at creating our own custom design library parts. So let's take a look at the file that I've got uh, at the moment. So I've just got a simple boss extrude. And I have generated a star shape on the front of this face where I've applied a through all cut extrude. What I can do with this cut extrude is that I can add that into my design library folder so that later on I can reuse this feature on any other part. Just two, uh, two ways to go about it. To add the actual library feature part into the design library, we can uh, hold down control and drag and drop it into uh, your existing folder or alternatively what you can do it is add your own uh, new link file location uh, bring it into your design library folder so as you see I've brought in uh, my design library here and I'll just delete that quickly and I'll show us how we can do that Once you drag and drop it and release the mouse cursor, it's going to ask you if you want to place in a file name or even description. Just go ahead and click tick. Also note the file type, it will now be a library feature part. Now let's go ahead and see how we can reuse this particular uh, library feature part. So over here, I've just got a rectangular uh, solid extrude. And what I'm going to do now is apply this star cut library feature part onto here. So simply drag and drop it. Select my configuration. In here, it's going to ask me for a reference edge. Now, this particular re reference edge or reference point will appear depending on your sketch. And this is the sketch of your feature. So for us, that is our star shape cut extrude. So depending on where you reference, how you reference your model and so on, because I've referenced my star along uh, a center axis that goes along the Y axis and that Y axis center line is coincident to the midpoint of the top edge while remaining vertical. And that is why it has now asked me for the top edge over here. So this pop-up window will show us uh, what's that particular reference edge or point that I need to select. So now let's simply select this. And there you go. And if you scroll down, you can also overwrite certain values. So you can rename dimensions in your library feature part. For one of it, I've dimensioned the width and I can click overwrite dimension values and change this value if I want. Let's go back to our library feature part to have a quick look at the dimensioning. So this is our star cut library feature part. Under dimensions folder, uh, this will appear as soon as you add uh, the cut extrude into a library part. You can see two separate folders. So we've got locating dimensions as well as internal dimensions. You can drag these dimensions into each folders and it will have a different effect for users when they use this library feature part. For example, locating dimensions can be changed when the feature is placed. Uh, so meaning, for example, I might adjust, I might give users the option to adjust um, this dimension, which is the flat, the horizontal line of the star to our top edge. I can place this in the locating dimensions here. Now with my internal dimensions, what it means is that users cannot change this particular dimension when they are placing this feature uh, on another part. So let's go ahead and drag this in. Let's take a look at what's going to happen when I create a new library feature part again. Now 
Now you can see that D2, which is our distance from the top edge uh, to that horizontal line of the star, can be edited. So I can change that to say 100, and that will shift it downwards. And you can see nothing else for us to change. D1 and width is gone because I've placed these dimension in the internal dimensions folder, so they cannot be changed unless you're in the library feature part. That is a good way to control how these features are being used if there is a particular standard that we follow and there's no need for users to make any changes to those particular dimensions, you can throw them into the internal dimensions folder. Whereas things like locating dimensions can be useful for if you need to position or fine tune the location of that particular feature. Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.